I have seen a lot of commercials about getting a quick check to settle a case. How long does it take to settle a case and how much is my case worth? Advice for Ben. Well, that's a pretty broad question, but Ben, here's what I would tell you if you called me or came into my office is that, you know, it depends on a lot of factors. One of the things is uh, what type of injuries did you have? Did you have just one ER visit or did you have broken bones? And are you going to have follow-up treatments? Was there a surgery recommended? Are you going to have uh, injections? And are you permanently injured? Is it a case that's going to go on and on and on forever? That is one of the major factors in how long your case is going to take because the insurance company usually is not going to resolve your case uh, until you reach, you hear maximum medical improvement or at least until it's known how good you're going to get. And so all those factors can, can weigh into the amount you're going to get in your case and how long it takes to resolve your case. Tim, you want to add to that? Well, you know, I mean, I think an insurance company will settle a claim for undervalued before you reach your maximum medical recovery. And that's, that, that's one of the things you have to watch out for. When you say quick settlement, uh, you've got to be very wary of the lawyer that's saying they'll get you a quick settlement and one that wants to know whether or not you're, you've reached the maximum medical recovery and, and, to, and to actually do the due diligence to make sure that when you sign that release, that you're actually getting money paid for the injury you have and not one that may pop up six months to a year or two later. Tim, Tim's right. You can get a quick bad settlement, but if you Correct. want to get a, a settlement that is worth, uh, that's worth what your case is worth. And trust me, the insurance companies know the firms like Tim's firm and my firm know what a case is worth. Uh, they'll settle with you for pennies on the dollar. If you let them, they'll do it in the hospital bed. You should never do that. You should never do that until you talk to an attorney, until you've figured out every damage you're going to have and how it's going to impact your future. Because once you sign that release, the case is over, whether they paid you not, not enough or too much. And that's why you got to get maximum value. Yeah, and the, the only caveat that I would, I would make with that is that unfortunately we have very low limits. If you're talking about automobile accident or, or, something like that as far as the limits that are required and many times if your injuries are substantial you will meet those those limits of insurance coverage on the other side relatively fast and so the settlement may move a little quicker and you may not be completely compensated for your injuries and again rocky that's what we always say if it's an automobile accident make sure that you have your uninsured motorist uh, up to date in the maximum amount of coverage okay. that's right patrick maloof talked a lot about that last week very informative